Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to support the channel, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks. Jai Cully from the West Coast Eagles has been charged with striking Noah Anderson. The MRO decided this was intentional conduct, medium impact, high contact. With an early plea, he can accept a two-match suspension. Brad Johnson? Yeah, that's, that's no good at all. Absolutely. Sean Darcy from Frio has been charged with striking Christian Petrarca. The MRO decided this was intentional conduct, low impact, body contact. For this, he can accept a $2,000 sanction. That's right, that's just a big ruckman doing his anger before. Just a little cheap shot in the kidneys. He got up and went and remonstrated with him. What about the two? This isn't the actual footage. I couldn't find it, but Cozzy Pickett has been charged with staging during the second quarter. For this, he can accept a $1,000 sanction. Nick Dacos from Collingwood has been charged with striking a fixed financial sanction on Travis Boak. This happened in the first second of the first quarter of the round 20 match. For this, Nick Dacos has to pay $1,500 sanction. Boak there, so he goes the, the elbow in the back. Later in the quarter, Travis Boak was paid a free kick for a high tackle. Taylor Adams, Jeremy Finlayson, Jack Ginnivan and Zach Butters have all been charged with engaging in a melee where they all received a $1,000 sanction, except for Taylor Adams, who had a $1,500 sanction. You'll find Tay Adams at the bottom of that as well. We've got a 52. Back, back, back. Yeah, so the non-controlling umpire. Braden Proust from GWS has been charged with rough conduct against James Rowbottom. In summary, the player can accept a $2,000 sanction. Picked off. I mean, that's not, that's not what we want. Dane Rampey from the Sydney Swans has been charged with rough conduct, dangerous tackle against Tim Taranto. Interestingly, the umpire did not pay a free kick for this, but Dane Rampey is looking at a $2,000 sanction. That was half, half dangerous, that tackle, and Taranto slow to get up. That was the Watch this in the box. Twisted, dump slam. Oh, yeah. jeepers. Yeah. Jath from Hawks has been charged with rough conduct, dangerous tackle against Jack Steele. As you can see, he's the second tackler in and he brings Jack Steele's head down to the ground quite forcefully. In summary, Jath has been offered a one-match suspension for this tackle. You have seen the ball flying around, aren't we? And this, the pressure's unbelievable, and that little bit there is the dangerous component. Both Jed Anderson and Jake Kelly from North Melbourne and Essendon, respectively, have been offered a $1,000 sanction for them engaging in a melee. Heads in that direction, put it in front. And he oh. fed back onto it, but it's... Charlie Lazaro from North Melbourne has been charged with engaging in rough conduct, dangerous tackle against Nick Hine. Again, the umpire did not pay a free kick for this, but Charlie Lazaro is looking at a $2,000 sanction. Trent Cochin has been charged with misconduct against Dane Zorko. For this, he has been offered a $1,000 sanction, which he is contesting. Thanks for watching. There's two I couldn't find. Scott Pendlebury has been charged with rough conduct against Sam Powell Pepper in the fourth quarter. He's been offered a $2,000 sanction. And lastly, Marlon Pickett has been charged with engaging in rough conduct against Reese Matheson from Brisbane Lions. For this, he's been offered a $3,000 sanction.